Yeah, we're going to go through how to create our redesigned room and I'm not going to start from scratch. I have my original room design here in Tinkercad so I'm actually going to edit this original design in order to create my redesign. Now I don't want to edit the original document, I want to make a new document from here. So if I click this little gear icon I can actually hit duplicate and that's going to make a copy. So it's going to keep my original intact uh, and then we have this copy document. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to rename it to redesigned. Redesigned, let's see. Redesigned room. There we go. All right. Now, I'm going to be referencing this blueprint, which is of my redesigned room. So I need to add some type of addition here to my room. Uh, I need to make the room slightly longer. And a lot of the furniture kind of stays the same, but I also have to build a fireplace and change the colors around a little bit. So I'm going to start with the addition. Now, what I'm going to do to make my life a little bit easier is I'm just going to select all of my furniture and I'm going to move it out of the way. It looks like some of my furniture is actually locked here. So let's unlock it so I can move everything around. Okay, grabbing all my furniture and we're just going to put all that over here. All right, I'm going to unlock my room and I'm going to ungroup it a bit to take me back to a shell. Now I need to make it slightly longer. So I'm going to drag the room out and make it a little bit longer. And actually I'm going to, before I do that, I'm, I left this window. So I'm actually going to move this window first so I don't lose it. Make the room a little bit longer. I have to make my cutout a little bit longer. Okay, that all looks pretty good. And I need to add an addition here. So let's go ahead and find a shape I can use for my addition. I might have to make a couple custom shapes. So I'm going to start with a box shape. Oops. Sorry about that. Here we go. Start with a box here. Make it the same height as my room, which is 101 mil. Like before, I'm not making this uh, to exact dimensions. Instead, just kind of making it proportional to match my blueprint. And now I need to get some type of angled shape. Let's borrow this wedge. And let's get this guy in place here. That looks pretty good. Just gonna duplicate it and mirror my duplicate and move it on over here to the other side. Okay, that looks pretty good. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna select my three new shapes, my red box, my two blue wedges, and my original box. I'm gonna group those together first. Um, actually, no, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to ungroup that. I'm going to group these three new shapes together first. One, two, three. Let's group those together. And I'm going to make a duplicate of this new shape. And I'm going to turn it into a hole. And I'm going to make it a little bit smaller and a little bit taller. So now I can take that and let's get it inserted here to hollow this out. All right, and let's see. Here we go. So what we're going to do is now we're going to select all of this, this whole piece here, grab everything, and group it. All right, that's pretty close. Looks like I need to pull this guy in a little bit, but that's going to distort it. I'm going to grab another box. instead. So if you see I have this little bit of red wall here so I need to clear that out. Something like that. Get it right in the corner. All right, let's see what that looks like. So we're going to select all of this 
and group. All right, that looks pretty good. So there's my new room. Okay, a little bit bigger, a little bit longer than it was before. I'm actually just going to make my work plane uh, a little bit longer as well, just so we stay on the grid. You don't have to do that, but it looks a little bit nicer. Okay, now what I need to do, um, actually I'm going to move my door over a little bit. So I think proportionally this has to be more like there. Okay, just like this, this, that. I think I have a floor hiding in here somewhere, so I'm selecting these individually to see if I still have a floor. I do. All right, don't know what this box is. That's extra. This is my step for my door, so that goes right there. All right, and this is my floor. Now, my floor is obviously going to have to change quite a bit. I'm going to have to fill in this area here. I think the easiest way to do that, let's see, what would be the easiest way? Let's actually, I'm going to group these two things together so I don't lose them. Let's ungroup this again real quick. Forgot about the floor. I'm going to borrow these two boxes here real fast. These two guys. I'm just going to borrow them, move them over. All right, let's try this again. So I'm going to select this, this, all these boxes. Grouping this together, there's my room, and now if I select these guys, how tall did I make this for? 7 mil. Let's make these 7 mil, I think. Let's make them a solid, and this should fit in. And if we group all of that together, we have our floor. All right, now I'm going to make this, uh, the walls in my blueprint, I mentioned I'm going to paint the walls. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. So let's paint the walls. I'm thinking kind of a nice creamy color. That looks good. And the floors, I said, are now going to be hardwood. So I'm going to make them a really deep brown. All right. So there we go. So there's my new redesigned room. Uh, I have to add a couple windows based on my blueprint here. So I'm just going to take a box and let's make it uh, a little bit longer, a little bit skinnier, something like that. Angle that 45 degrees or so to cut a nice window here. It's not a doorway, so let's lift that up. It's going to be a big window. Make sure it goes all the way through. Before I group that, I'm going to duplicate it and mirror it and move it all the way over here. Let's add those guys. All right. And last thing that's kind of new construction is some type of fireplace. So pretty big fireplace. Let's just go ahead and get that in there. I think I would make it some type of gray brick or gray stone, I guess I should say. Duplicate this. Something like that. Duplicate another one. Something like this. Okay. Fireplacey. Obviously, that would go up much higher. Um, and let's get the actual fire part. Oops. And I just realized that this floor here doesn't appear to actually be level, does it? There we go. That's level. Let's go ahead and make the center. Oops. Like that. And just because we can, let's draw a little flame here using the scribble tool. Like 
Great. Let's go ahead and drag this guy in place. Cool. And then I want some type of, in my blueprint I mentioned that I have the TV on some type of mantle. So I think that would look something like this, probably a lighter wood. And I actually think I'd want the chimney that you could see it inside. So I think that would look like that. Cool. All right, so there's the bulk construction of my room, all done. Let's just take a quick look at the blueprint here. So we've added the fireplace, we've added a window, a window, the room's longer. Um, and we added this huge addition here. That all looks pretty, pretty solid. So uh, let's go ahead and it looks like the only other thing I need is I need an area rug. So let's go ahead and drag another rectangle and I'm gonna make this a light tan. All right, let's go ahead and select all of this and lock it. So I can't mess that up. Now, we're gonna take this furniture and put this back in place. So, coffee table and couch are now going to rotate 180 degrees and kind of be right there. Let's check out that blueprint. Looks like my other end table, I'm just gonna copy this one. Oops, I need to do that. Copy it and move it over here. Okay, looking good. Let's see where does the TV? This guy. Oop, I actually don't want this piece of furniture. I just want the TV. Make sure I got the little feet too. Do I have the feet? Yeah. All right, let's rotate the TV around 180. Oops, and this guy now goes here. You know what? I think I'm gonna need a bigger TV. That looks better. Okay, so there's the TV on top of the fireplace. That looks good. Let's see. Simulator cabinet. This guy is going to go in the corner here. Something like that. Let's rotate him around. What else do we got? Chair and ottoman. Let's rotate this ottoman 45 degrees and grab him in the chair. And rotate that around. That now gets nice and cozy in the corner. Charlie's Toys goes right where it was before, all the way over here in the corner. And I think I just have a couple bookshelves. So there's a bookshelf over here. And then there's a couple more over here. Lots of bookshelves, so we'll duplicate this guy. No, not that. Duplicate. Move you that here, and let's do one more. Move these guys in, and there's no reason why they can't be right up against each other, like that. And then these two pieces of furniture are now extra. And there we go, that's my redesigned room. So, we went from the original design to kind of expanding it, adding an addition, and reconfiguring the furniture to go ahead and create the redesigned based on my redesigned blueprint.